the first year we had 135, 140 members. Wow. Now that's an interesting story because to start the club, I ran an ad in the Tampa Tribune, cost me, and I never got money back from the club, $150, $200 for the ad. Nice size ad. And uh, I asked for a thousand, I called for a thousand volunteers. We were re reforming Roosevelt's regiment. And at that time, we only wanted $150 because I was buying everything so cheap. We had the belts, we had, we had holsters, and the, uh, the uniform. We were buying everything so cheap that we could give a membership for $150 a piece and give them the whole uniform, mm -hmm. including two shirts. So we called for membership, $150. Within two weeks, $15,000 came in the mail to the hardware store box, people joining. It scared my father so bad that he called me into his office and said, don't you know that's a federal offense messing with the mails? I said, I'm not messing with them. We're doing a nonprofit organization. <laughs> and so he was happy after that. He thought I was gonna keep the money, I guess. <laughs> It scared him and it scared me when he called me and said it was a federal offense. Wow. So we might even say we committed a federal offense if I would have kept the money. Immediately as we formed, we, we were in the Gasparilla Parade. They allowed us to shoot in the parade. The first three or four years we shot in the Gasparilla Parade. We had live to have ammo? A live uh, blank ammo. Oh, okay. if, and the fact was, we were, Spicola Hardware was a, a distributor for ammunition. So we were buying blank ammo cheaper than the Gasparilla crew. <laughs> and later on in years, when their supplier has stopped carrying blanks, we supplied them also. <laughs> but that's after they cut us off from shooting. <laughs> they cut us off from shooting because we were too impressive, I think. We would get 30 or 40 guys with guns under the bridges going through Davis, you know, the Davis Island bridges going under there. 20, 30 guys shooting blanks at one time, volley. And all the Casper, all the crew people didn't know what to do. We were too impressive, so they cut us out. They wouldn't let us shoot. Never had an incident or anything. Wow. They would not let us shoot after that. We were absolutely too impressive.